Hey everybody, it's Callum and welcome back to more Let's Play Zack and Wiki, the quest for Barbarossa's treasure. In the last episode, we took on the Fountain Guardian, and in today's episode, we're gonna... <laughs> we're not supposed to be seeing this yet because I've had a failed recording, but we are, in fact, going to be taking on the King of the Jungle puzzle. We've already done this because I had a failed recording, like I said. So I know how to do this, I can hopefully get it done fairly quickly, and yeah, we'll be moving on to the next area in the next episode. It, it's watching us. It, it's definitely watching us. Way to send him packing, Zach. Okay, as you can see, this map is fairly large, and um, what we're going to have to do straight off the bat, we're just going to break these, just for some easy money. Some little quick money, because money is good, and now we're going to turn this into a centisol. Which is going to be useful in a second. Okay. So I think, like, I know what to do, and I'm going to be explaining what we have to do, obviously, but I feel this episode should be more conversational. Uh, he looks pretty ticked off. If we get close, blah, 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 it's just a beast, yeah. Basically saying if we get close, he's going to hurt us. But, I know a way we can do this without getting close. So let's just, um,. Saw this stick. Come on. Can I just say that I'm glad this was the episode that was that had the failed recording and not the uh, Fountain Guardian one? Because for those who saw the episode, uh, obviously you must have seen the episode before watching this one. That was insanely difficult for me. Now we have no more use for the Centisaur. That was literally its only use. And now, we can head up here, surprisingly. And we can grab this, which is the scale vase. Now we must go down here. I find it strange how we can go up there, but meh. We can. And now, we must put this vase onto onto this um, snake totem head thing. None of this is like explicitly stated and it's just easier for me to show than uh, to, you know, like be like, hmm, I wonder what we do, but yeah. <laughs> this one is the only episode that's going to be uh, partially not blind, or not blind at all, actually, because I've already done this. Um, there should be an item down here, actually. So I don't know why it's not showing up. Hmm. Well, now we can... Uh, since the uh, totem head is covered, we're gonna grab the stick. <clears throat> we're gonna take this stick back to the fire and light it on fire. So I said this is going to be more conversational, so I don't know, I mean, I don't know what to speak about besides the fact that I've kind of, like, I've reorganized my room so everything is in the place where I want it to be now. Okay, so now we got a torch, 
And with the... I have, like, a microphone arm, for those who don't know. And that basically, um... Just allows me to have the microphone in front of my face, and I don't have to be, like, crouching down to use it and stuff. So, yeah, we're gonna go put this in here. There we go. And now, I think... Uh, there is supposed to be something down here, like, down in this little bit where we can't climb up yet. If we ring the bell, there's supposed to be, like, a hidden thing, but I can't find that. So, let's just do this puzzle. So, what you have to do for this is rotate the pieces as such and just put them in. And that corresponds to actual blocks up here. And we have to do that three times. Alright, let's turn this on its side and put that in. But yeah, so um, with the microphone arm, there was... It, like, it came with a wire built into it. Like, with the wire, it would connect to certain types of microphones. And that was stupid of me. It would connect to certain types of microphones. And when it did, like, when it does, then it can connect to something else. I don't know. But I don't have that kind of microphone. Even if I did, <laughs> it really isn't, like... It's not anything I can use, because I can't plug in the microphone to anything else, so... I don't know anymore. But, yeah, I'm using that for my normal microphone now, it's just, like, kind of dangling off. By the way, next you have to go up here with a torch. And that scares the beast. But yeah, with that, because I didn't need that wire, I thought it would be wise to, plain and simply, cut it up. <laughs> I quite literally just cut up the, um, cut up the wire. Like, I cut it, because it was inside the, um, the actual microphone arm itself. I couldn't just take it out. I actually had to cut it in various places to sort of weave it out. Alright, now we just hit the bat and shake, and that turns into a batrella. A batbrella. And now we go down here. We swim up. Come on. Thank you, Zach. Okay, we swim out of here. And we take the Batbrella with us all the way up the stairs, and then more, and then up these stairs, all the way up, down these stairs, and as you can see, there's a zip line which goes straight to the chest, so let's use our Batrella to go down it. But how are we going to? It's got a pointed end. Well. As we learned from the last, oh, uh, not from the last episode, but from episode four, I believe, we can actually flip items upside down. What happens if we press two here? Okay, that doesn't work. But, there we go. We've now got the chest. But, there's one thing you're going to need to do. Pick up the Batrella again. Then go here. Shake the bell. And it alerts the beast. And we go falling down. This is why you needed the Batrella. You needed to pick it up and use two. Or press two to use it, even. And there we go. Quite sadly enough, we didn't get all the Harama Q from this level. But that just gave us a load of money, which is always good. Uh, are there any other places where we can get money? Hang on. So I saw a little sparkle over here. No? What about over here? No. Okay. So now we just have to open the chest. And there we go.
And instead of getting a piece of Barbaros, we get a map. It looks like we're one step closer to the legendary ship. Simply amazing, big guy. A pleasurable performance of pure pirate prowess. Well, we've certainly stumbled upon some pretty deep danger this time. Oh, the things they'll do to you, Zack. I, I, I just can't watch. Of course, I'll be fine and dandy since I can just fly away. Yo, guys, I found a sweet loner. Come on, jump. Thanks for the treasure, dudes. Later. Of course, we get saved by Johnny Style. <laughs> and there we go. Thank you all so much for watching. If you liked the video, please don't forget to like, favorite, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And I'll see you all in the next episode of Let's Play Zack and Wiki Quest for Barbarossa's Treasure. See you guys next time.